In this second installment of our three-part Security Fabric Overview series, we will go over some tips to monitor your network and remediate issues. In this demonstration, we will continue to use the same university topology used earlier in the series. Now let's take a look at how we can use Fortinet's Security Fabric to take action on the network. In this example, we will use vulnerabilities detected by FortiClient to illustrate the action you can perform from the Security Fabric root device. In this example, the university core is the Security Fabric root device. Let's add a new dashboard to see where the vulnerabilities are on the network. From the vulnerabilities dashboard, we can add some new widgets, and here we will add the host scan summary and vulnerability summary. From here we can see there are 65 total hosts on the network. 62 of them are unscanned, but 3 of them are scanned and have vulnerabilities. On the right hand side you can see the total number of vulnerabilities detected across all of the devices in the security fabric. Let's see where those vulnerabilities are on the network. From the physical topology let's take a look only at devices that have vulnerabilities. We will remove all the ones that are unscanned or do not have Forta client and sort by detected vulnerabilities. Here we can see that the instructor's device has 42 critical vulnerabilities, and as well as a number of high, medium, and low severity vulnerabilities. Since this indicates a possible compromise, or at least a risk on the network, let's take a look at how to quarantine that device to prevent them from accessing the network. If we right-click on the device and select Quarantine Host on FortiSwitch, a new quarantine entry will be created that blocks the device's MAC address on any of the FortiSwitches in the network. After clicking OK, the device is immediately quarantined. We can view the quarantine in Monitor, Quarantine Monitor. Here you will be able to see all the quarantine entries on each FortiGate in the security fabric. Since the device was connected to the second floor FortiGate, when we click on it, we will see the entry here. The administrative quarantine on that switch will never expire, so we can use this to remediate the vulnerability on that network endpoint. Once resolved, we can delete the quarantine, which releases the selected device from quarantine, allowing them to access the network. So far we have only looked at real-time information in the Fortinet security fabric. Let's take a look at how we can leverage Fort Analyzer to view historical information from the FortiGate. Since we already set up Forti Analyzer in part 1 of this series, logs have been submitted to Forti Analyzer throughout this demonstration. Let's have a look at what we already know. From FortiView, visit the Sources view. This is all of the information we have just looked at. However, if you click on the time period, we can change this to the last 24 hours. Notice how the device on the right displays a FortiGate. Now displaying 24 hours, we can see it change to Forti Analyzer, indicating the source of this data. We can now aggregate data for all sources in the network now pulled from Forti Analyzer. We can also see the same information on all of the other FortiView pages, top destination, top applications, and threats in the network. All now provided by the Forti Analyzer. We can drill down and see all of the sources using the ping applications. and we can also see the destinations. All of this information is loaded directly from the Forti Analyzer, and all of the logs are sent from the individual FortiGates to the specific Forti Analyzer in the network. Let's take a look at another way we can load historical information from the Forti Analyzer. We'll visit the main dashboard and create a new dashboard, just for FortiView data. We will call it Monitoring. Visit the new dashboard and add a new widget. We will add a 40 view widget and top sources for the last 24 hours. Add the widget. When we do this, we will see all the top sources on the network sorted by the criteria we set earlier. This is all loaded from the Forti Analyzer and aggregated and returned back to the FortiGate. This information can be loaded up on a knock view and can be maximized so you can get great visibility into the historical information directly on the FortiGate. For example, let's say we were monitoring the FortiGate through FortiView, had found some interesting information, and wanted to keep an eye on how that situation develops. Go to FortiView Sources. Let's monitor the top applications for this source. 
When we click on it and view the Applications tab, we will see the top applications are Ping and Browser Traffic. Here I can save that as a new widget under the monitoring dashboard I just created from this drop down here. All the filters, values, and sort criteria are already set up just as we had viewed them in FortiView. When I add that widget, I now see that the same information with the filters predefined are shown on my dashboard. Creating this widget gives us a constantly updated view using the same search parameters in FortiView, while including historical data from the Forti Analyzer as well, conveniently on your dashboard. This concludes this installment in our Security Fabric Overview series. Thank you for watching. For more videos in this series or other technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.